Good evening, everybody. Everybody's been asking about my monk monk. Monk monk's doing great. Um, he um he lives in his cage and in this ball. I don't handle him because I'm afraid he may bite me. And um. I mean, it's a pretty good life. I mean, he's in this ball a lot. I take him out and he gets, he walks back into his cage and I clean it. And then he gets back in here. He walks back in here from the entrance to his cage. And he has sticks and apple sticks and um, all kinds of things to play with in his cage. He rolls around on his back, flips those sticks around and when he's in his cage and my husband gets the cats running around in the living room close to his cage with the laser light, Mike Monk just has a fit and he just uh, turns flips in his cage and um, hangs on the side and bobs his head up and down like a monkey does. And, um, you know, I wish I could turn him free and let him have a better life than what he has, but I just cannot. I have two cats, and um, I cannot set him free. He is ready to go now. He loves playing in this ball. He gets free reign of the house. He runs around wherever he wants to go, and um, he has the best life that I can give him. Um, I found him in the yard with my cat, had just dropped him out of his mouth. And I found him in the yard and he still had his eyes and his ears closed. He was very young. I was the first thing he ever saw when he opened his eyes. And I really don't think that he would bite me. Um, and he tries to, when he, he, this cute monk is very smart. I let him free when we go to Walmart or whatever. And when we come back in, he will roll his ball straight up to your feet to greet you um, and let you know that he is there. He is very smart. And uh, I'm going to let him run around while I finish talking about him. He's ready to go. He is very energetic, and I do my best with giving him as much freedom as I can. But as I was saying, my cat had him in the, his mouth out in the yard when I walked onto the back porch. I, I saw him drop something. And I thought, well, what in the world does he have? I saw that it was brown. You know, and a month, month was about uh, three or four inches long. And I walked out there, and it was a chipmunk with its eyes still closed and its ears still closed. I said, my, 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 there's my killer right behind me. Um, and Sebastian snatched him back up off the ground, but when he took off running, he slipped back out of his mouth, and I snatched him up off the ground. And I thought, oh, my goodness, he still has his eyes and ears closed. So I thought, well, I'm going to look online and see what I need to do to try and care for this critter and get him back on his feet. My intentions never were to keep him. I was going to nurse him till he was strong and grown and then set him free. But Monk Monk has never learned to drink water out of a dish or out of a water bottle. And I just do not know if he will drink out of the creek. There is a vacant three or four lots up here by the house that has a running creek down through it where I was going to turn him loose. But he never did learn how to drink water, so I don't think he can fend for himself. And um, so I care for him the best that I can, give him the best life that I can, and we just make do. I really enjoy him, so that's how he's doing. He's running around right now. He's probably chasing one of the cats or chasing my husband's feet. Um, but anyway, everybody be safe, be kind to one another, and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye, everybody.